Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to join us at the online new product launch of Sustainable Manufacturing, hosted by Taiwan Textile Federation, the TTF. I'm Rebecca Wu, your MC for today's event. This program is part of our annual TEPP project, commissioned by Taiwan's Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs, which selects Taiwan's premium textile companies and their innovative products to introduce to the international market. It also damages the environment excessively. A pair of production makes up 10% of carbon emissions, dries up water sources, and pollutes the land with 85% of all textile go to the dump each year. To cope with the impact of climate change, governments, society, and enterprises around the world are all moving toward the goal of global net zero emissions. Both the global textile industry and Taiwan are facing the challenge of climate change. And with the improvement of production efficiency, the consumption of water, electricity, and resources is also increasing. ESG and sustainable development have become the key competitiveness of Taiwan textile industry's supply chain resilience in the next decades. More and more world's largest companies have embarked on an ambitious journey of reaching net zero by 2050, making every effort to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, promoting energy efficiency through various innovative technologies, working on waste reduction, circular economy, and other innovative models to achieve eventually carbon neutrality. Taiwan's textile industry has strong knowledge and expertise on sustainable manufacturing. Over the years, we have become the top choice of many international leading brands in going green. This March, April, and May, TTF will introduce to you these prestigious Taiwanese textile companies in a three-episode online new product launch program with different themes. In this month, we will be focusing on sustainable manufacturing. Now, we will take you on a tour to see how textile companies turn their manufacturing process green. Finally, we will walk you through the latest concept of circular fashion developed by leading textile manufacturers and how they transform consumers' purchasing habits. In today's program, we have five companies to share with us their latest sustainable textiles and technologies that reduce the burden on our environment. First of all, we have Aislon Chemicals and Fiber Corporation. When it comes to energy saving and carbon reduction in textile industry, to use recycled materials such as nylon and polyester or dope dye color yarns always comes to their mind. Aislon Chemicals and Fiber is one of the best yarn makers who offers high quality superior yarns. Furthermore, their skill to combine both functionality and sustainability and taking both eco-friendly and quality into their product considerations. Today, they're going to introduce a new yarn to improve carbon reduction and the life cycle of textiles. Durex Stand Echo, the recycled nylon abrasion resistant yarn. Let's welcome Aislon Chemicals and Fiber Corporation. Hi, I'm Chris from Aislon Taiwan. Main products we offer are sustainable, eco-friendly, and functional synthetic yarns, such as nylon, polyester, and polypropylene. I'd like to share one of the superior and versatile eco-friendly yarn we offer for outdoor wear, sportswear, workwear, and also for other applications. The recycled abrasion-resistant nylon yarn, Dura Extend Eco. First, what is Dura Extend? Dura stands for durability, and Extend stands for extension of the lifetime. This is a functional yarn which can be break slower and help textiles lower down the weight loss after frequent uses. A technical material is evenly embedded in Dura Extend. From the slide, you can see a three-dimensional porous structure. This enhances the elastic recovery, distortion withstanding, to improve the abrasion resistance of textiles. As the material is black, we will always have gray yarns for Dura Extend. Don't worry about the color if you don't insist to have white or fluorescent colors. You can still dye it, and the color performance can be a bit darker 
from the original ones, just like the red socks in the two pictures. Up to now, Durai's hand is mostly developed and used in apparel. So, I will first skip the industrial use while we think it can contribute a certain wear resistance as well. I'd like to show you in this slide. Durai's hand fabric for workwear withstands up to 300,000 cycles and gets no hole. And it also shows Durai's tan is also durable as it is made with nano double six. Durai's tan can be processed with wool. No hole is found, and the fabric doesn't become thinner after 20,000 cycles. Tested under British standard EN 13770 with a weight 12 kappa. It is requested by a famous brand. Qualified wool socks should pass 7,000 cycles. So, the wool socks made with Durai's tent can be used longer. In addition to extension of lifetime and considering the environmental impact, more than 70% of greenhouse gas emissions can be hugely decreased if we replace the virgin nylon to mechanical recycled one. So, we offer a recycled version to Durax Tent, which becomes Durax Tent Eco. If you're interested in dope dyed color yarns to additionally save more water consumption, we can also offer dope dyed version. Plus, the textile can be durable and used longer. We create a very green product. You can see Durax Tent Eco withstands 210,000 cycles and get no hole while the control group of recycled nylon can pass 100,000 cycles only. The windbreakers made with Durax Tent Eco can be used longer. Apart from the enhancement of the wear resistance, Durax Tent Eco can be used longer and improve the deduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Durax Tent Eco is a product that takes both our environment and the durability of textiles into consideration. For more information, please call or email us to create more possibilities of your green and durable textile products. Thank you. Next up, we have Creative Tech Textile Company Limited. Thousands of years, human beings eat for surviving. But nowadays, they focus on making their food become delicacies. Eating is no longer just a way for fill-up. People regard it as a lifestyle or even an art. However, this change also brought out many problems. And one of them is food wastage. Today, we're going to discuss about how to reuse these wastages and give it a whole new life into greenly functional textile. Let's take a look at how they managed to do it all. This is an oyster, and I believe most of you were already quite familiar with it. In Taiwan, oyster is one of the most common dishes that can be found from fine restaurants to even local night markets. However, when the Taiwanese happily enjoy the oyster cuisine, one thing had been ignored, the shells. Taking a look at the map of Taiwan, most of the oyster farms are located at the southwest seashores. By the statistic, they can averagely provide 20,000 tons of oyster every year. You might be a little confused about this number. Let's say it in this way. The annual weight of oyster in Taiwan is almost equal to 60 Boeing Airbuses. In such huge consumption, we can obviously realize what's the problem behind. It also brought the same weight of shell vestiges every year. Few years ago, our team had visited these areas and surprisingly found they put the discard shells aside the streets. The smells and flies can be easily detected when we just pass by. These discarded shells definitely cause a serious environment problem in these villages. After years of researching and studying, our team came up with a solution that these discard shells were actually rich in minerals and it could be a perfect addition in textile. In this way, we nanolize the oyster shell into powder with the base of recycled PET bottle to create a brand new functional recycled yarn. We entitled this yarn Sea Wool, which was inspired by its wool-like construction and hand feel. The good things are more than that. 
As I mentioned, the oyster shell was nurtured by the coast and enriched with minerals from the ocean. We found the sea wu yang naturally inherited with several functions as follows. The thermal regulation, moisture management, and quick dry. Let's see this picture of oyster shell powder under a microscope. We found this mound-like pearl structure, which can make the moisture or water spread out easily. By our testing, the light shirt made by Siwu can dry out itself within an hour without tumble dry. Secondly, the anti-odor and antibacterial. The oyster shell powder is an inorganic compound that composes with minerals. In this way, it can create an unfavorable environment for bacteria growth. So when people perspire during summer, it can provide a relatively longer period for stopping the sweat smells. After knowing benefits of CU, let's move forward to the real. Our development direction of CU can be categorized into three sections. The insulation, CU fabric, and the sweater yang. The insulation made from Siwu Yang we call Smarwom. In early years, we all know the dominating padding material was Gustown. However, this is a very brutal and inhumane method to grab the material from Goose. For our Smarwom, the raw materials are all originated from vestiges, and we developed three types of padding for diverse purposes. The next one is our Siwu fabric collections. For spring and summer, the seaweed lightweight shirts are quite suitable for outdoor activities. The seaweed makes the clothes to be more breathable for our body, and we can stay in comfort under such hot weather. Turning the page to fall and winter, seaweed cotton flannel would be an excellent choice. It brought you a better heat-keeping wearing experience. Moreover, the clothes would not get moisture easily which can be helpful for the storage. The last but the latest is our new line of Siwu sweater yarn. Conclude all the benefits from Siwu, we cooperate with the design team to create a series of sweater yarns. It can be widely used for hats or sweaters and completely copy the woolen hand feel and provide a cozy tuck-up experience. In conclusion, the origin of Siwu is actually a motivation to decrease the discarded oyster shell alongside the Taiwan Southwest coast. Coincidentally, the more research our team have learned, the more positive facts we dig from the shells. The whole progress we can call it as three R phases, the reduce, reuse, and recycle. Although the speed to recycle the waste shells might not catch up all people desire on oyster. However, we still believe we made a little improvement on these seaside villages and our mother of Earth. If you would like to have more further information about our Siwu Yang and collection, please visit us with below links or you can contact us directly by the email address. Thank you. Next on the agenda, we have Far Eastern New Century FENC. They are the world's second largest supplier of recycled polyester pellets, RPET, and is currently one of the manufacturers of RPET textiles, which are commonly used in the global textile industry. FENC has mechanically recycled waste PET bottles into bottles or fibers and has long provided to Coca-Cola, Nike, Adidas, and other name brands. With the trend of net zero carbon emission, FENC cooperates with Lanza Tech using waste gas to produce raw materials of PET by biotechnology. It is not only carbon reduction, but even carbon negative. This new technology can drop in the current PET manufacturing process provide more solutions to reach zero carbon emission. Let's take a look at what FENC has to offer. Today is my pleasure to introduce you Fry's and New Century's Top Green Bio 3 PET, which is a recycled waste gas-based polyester. Fry's and New Century is a parent company of Fry's and Group, which was established in 1945. 
started as a textile downstream, now we bet integrate to synthetic fibers and petrochemical raw materials. Now Faison Group is a top 10 conglomerate in Taiwan, covers 10 business sectors. We have textile downstream, then bet integrated to polyester middle stream, then the petrochemical raw material upstreams. We have many operations in Asia and United States. We started our recycling business in 1988. Now, we expanded as a world number two supplier of recycled PET in many categories, including number one category in recycled polyester filament, recycled food grade PET, and recycled ocean polyesters. Every year, we recycle more than 21 billion bottles from all over the country. That means we have more than 900,000 tons of carbon reduction of CO2 emission. We made three kinds of world first green products. The first one, it's 100% bio-based bottles. And the second one, we make 100% bio-based shirts. Those bio-PET chips can drop into the current process without changing anything. Now, I'm happy to announce we actually made another world first green products which is a fabric made from the capture carbon emissions. We name it Bio3PET. Here's a video of FENC Top Green Bio3PET. The scale of the issue can seem overwhelming, yet meaningful actions can make an impact. Look at FENC's partnership with Lanzatech. Together, we believe now is the time to make science fiction science fact. Introducing the world's first, FENC Top Green Bio 3 PET. For years it was said that converting waste gases into products was impossible. But thanks to Lantatech's carbon recycling approach, FENC Top Green Bio 3 PET can utilize captured pollution and convert it into fully recyclable PET, making the impossible possible. Microorganisms found in nature have an innate ability to process and utilize the carbon from waste gas. The organic compounds such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen of manufacturing plants are diverted into a bioreactor filled with these microorganisms. Through the natural metabolic pathways of the microbes, the gas is metabolized into ethanol. Via the Lanzatech process, the ethanol is separated from the fermentation broth. The pure ethanol as a chemical precursor is then shipped off for conversion. Utilizing conventional and existing processes, the ethanol is then chemically converted into monoethylene glycol, MEG, then copolymerized into 100% recyclable PET. Bio3 PET is made from the waste gas of the steel mills which is turned to the ethanol by biological fermentation. Then the ethanol could be dropped in to the current facilities without changing anything. That means the product is the same as you are using today. This process is not only the carbon capture, but also carbon utilization. You fix the carbon into your product with this Bio3 PET. We commercially launched this Bio3 PET products as a PET fiber for many name brands, including Zara and Lululemon. Those are selling in the market right now. We also can make a PET packaging material from PET raising to film, preform bottles and other PET applications. More applications such as industrial fabrics, you can make from the bio source or the waste gas source. Then you made the seat belt, tire core, airbags, and geotextile, those industrial fabric applications. Fison collaborated with our partner Landa Tech in 2019. We signed a contract in Tita's exhibition, which is the largest textile exhibition in Taiwan. This year, we got the best product award from Expo Tech Trends. Fison New Century is happy to announce this Top Green Bio3 PET product to reduce the carbon footprint, make the earth better. You are welcome to visit our website, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and hope to hear from you. Thank you.
For the next company, we have Hongyu. As you may know, the textile industry is one of the most water-intensive industries worldwide. According to a reliable water footprint report published by UNESCO, creating a single pair of jeans requires about 2,866 gallons of water, which is equivalent to 21,800 bottles of Coca-Cola. And this water is primarily used in the wet processing, fabric dyeing. Therefore, developing a more water-saving process and minimizing the impact of wastewater discharge to our planet has become a priority issue we must deal with. Hongyu, this time-honored mill, is one of the biggest woven fabric producers in Taiwan. The total yardages they produce in a year can circle the Earth eight times. As they know, they have the responsibility for the sustainability of textile industry. Hongyu used the most essential color combination with traditional weaving technique to provide us with a solution that can take into account aesthetics, material strength, and eco-friendly. Let's see how this 60-year-old meal weave a better and colorful world. Hi everyone, I'm David from Hongyu. First, please take a look at this 400 Daniel high-density expert which has broadly been used in outdoor equipment, backpacks, accessory, and soft goods. We all know that the textile industry is one of the most water-intensive industry in the world, and this water is primarily used in the fabric dyeing. But have you ever been wondering how much water it will consume to produce just a single yard of 400 Daniel nylon export. The answer is 50 liters per yard. Say, in average, if we drink 2.5 liters of water per day, then it will be about 20 day water usage. It is incredible, right? Hongyu has always been thinking how to reduce water depletion and decrease the rely on the water resources. And our answer is solution dye. And we believe that the benefit of solution dye is beyond discussion. But in many years, why it still cannot replace the normal piece dye? And there are main three points. First, a long period of customized color development. And sometimes it ends up with compromising on the color, which is not favorite after a few lap deep runs. Second, a perfect customized color is finally created but the cost of a special formulation makes it difficult to bring into commercialization. Last but not the least, the MOQ. MOQ is always the issue that pushes people back, unless it's going to be carried over from year to year. It's not easy for a brand to eat up tons of yarn just for a seasonal color use. So, till now, black is still the only one being used broadly. But today, I'm going to offer you the solution. We call it New Palette. And what is New Palette? New Palette is the toolkit that we launched to ease your headache, and we can expedite the process. With the most basic CMYK and raw white yarns, we can create plenty of the combination of vivid colors. With two kinds of fabric weights, four patterns, eight specifications, and several of our best-selling fabric designs, we create more than 160 unique colors of durable fabrics, each with ready stock, so you can easily get some materials for immediate markup. New palette already represents the final outlook of the fabric. Just imagine how much time we can save you. In addition, with this colorful new palette, we promise that you will have a friendly MOQ that makes your product more competitive. Besides, you will have a greater saturated subtle colors and excellent color fastness. This is no longer the single benefit. New palette created Heather, two-tone, every decent color effect, each is unique and cannot be reproduced by the piece dye. No doubt, 
their old solution died. We built up new pellet for environmental purpose, but we never compromised the quality. All our fabric are made of 100% nylon tenacity yarn, which means it is 50% stronger than the regular nylon six. Statistics also shows that the compared with the normal piece dye, solution dye can save up to 80% of the water usage. Hong Yu promised weaving a better world, so if you have the same goal, same idea, same passion, please contact us. Let us help you. Thanks for watching. Last but not least, we have Kinwell. It is a leading developer of performance fabric and garments for the global apparel industry who manufacture sustainable performance fabric and garments to the outdoor, active, and at leisure brands globally. Kingwell has a sustainable DNA built in the operation, which reflects into their innovative product development and services, who also has pledged to become carbon neutral by year 2050. Now let's hear their amazing stories. Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm working as an account manager in Kingwell. Today, I'm going to introduce Kingwell and our sustainable strategy toward carbon net zero. We offer comprehensive services. With vertical integration from fabric to garment, we can fulfill all our customers' needs. Kingwell has strong innovation abilities on functional yarns and fabrics located in Taiwan. Our garment manufacturers, Phi and Liwako, are in multi countries, including Vietnam, Taiwan, in China. We are not just considering facilitating our services, we also care about our planet. We use green energy through green process, creating green products. For green products, what we've been building is something that can never be found on the market. Therefore, Beyond is born. Beyond is founded in functional fiber technology, providing ultimate comfort with our eco-friendly fabric collections such as Bee Breeze, Bee Flex, be warm and be shell. Four series are targeting different markets. Another reason Kingwell is remarkable is that we have a yarn development team. With this exclusive center, what we create is irreplaceable and unique. We can design and manufacture various specifications. Especially, we have numerous choices of eco-friendly yarns. Cyclo is a biodegradable polyester. LIT is our revolutionary yarn and dyeing process. LIT, low impact technology. Through our LIT process, we modify the molecular structure of the yarn so we can dye fabrics at lower temperatures and shorten the dyeing process, which means less weight, fewer resources, and lower energy. This is what makes Kingwell greener. Here's my sharing of material innovations my colleague Scott will introduce you to more of our green process and green power. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm the account manager in Kingwell. As previous mentioned, we've been creating innovative green products with the green process. The green process is the idea which aims to save the energy to lower the waste when producing. We've also developed advanced resources management method, which uses the cogeneration steam and recollect up to 50% of the heat. In the near future, it will be improved to at least 70%. Besides, we can further reduce water usage by applying airflow dyeing machine. While the resources are very limited, our goal is to improve the situation for both ourselves and the textile industry, which connects us to the third topic, green power. Being one of the first textile manufacturers within the Asia Pacific region, to join RE100. We have committed to use 100% renewable energy by 2040. We have installed solar panels in our factory mill and implemented an energy management system to improve resources efficiency. After all, energy is so scarce that we can afford wasting it. In conclusion, our sustainable goals are green design of product, carbon reduction, and smart management of process, as well as carbon trading of power. Three Ps and four goals will hence be a circle that energies are of a mother nature. 
and we have devoted to fully embrace the sustainable DNA dividends. Our ultimate goal is to achieve completely carbon neutral by 2050. From fiber smithing to textile manufacturing to garment construction, Kingwell can do it all just more responsibly. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the second of the three episode online product launches. Thank you for joining in. To learn more about Taiwan's textile products, please subscribe and follow our live streaming and rerun on TTF's YouTube channel. For any questions or sample inquiries, please scan the QR code to leave your contact information. We will be in touch with you shortly after the event. Stay tuned for our upcoming program on circular economy. I'm Rebecca Wu. See you next time.